<laughs> Updates about these little duckies over here. I guess we'll just play it by ear and see what happens. This is so sad. Well, that is the end of the peak and sitting era. That rooster has been so moody lately. <laughs> He's gonna flinch. So much testosterone going on in here, y'all. Drake is standing his ground. Okay, time to be peaceable. Me too. Goodness. So I was looking through my camera roll last night and realized that I haven't recorded any kind of updates about these little duckies over here. So I'll go ahead and do that now. They are doing really, really well. Um, the black one here that mama tried to kill, uh, healing up really, really nicely. Uh, hasn't had any more issues with that getting along just fine and the little yellow one that we ended up putting in the incubator he hatched just fine and really fast and put them together the next morning and they became fast friends they are inseparable you pick one up and the other one cries and cries and cries until you pick him up too and they can see each other again <laughs> um but they're doing really really well a few minutes ago i had them out and they were just following me everywhere like a mama doc it was so cute um, right now they're trying to clean themselves. They explored the um, little swimming pool that we put out there for the big ducks just for a couple seconds and they decided this is cold. I don't like it. Get me out. <laughs> so it was kind of in the shade. So it's a bit chilly. So they're in here under the heat lamp now warming up and drying off from their adventure. And I'm sure they will take a nice long nap after that. <laughs> so I did the other day try to bring them in to the broody ducks. Um, I mean, Sally only had two, yeah, she only had, well, she had three eggs in her nest. One of them was Gretchen's third egg, did not hatch. Um, I think it got as far as breaking into the air sac, but never pipped. So anyways, Gretchen's never hatched, and then Sally only had two other eggs, and after kindling, I think there's only one viable egg between the two pecans. So I tried to take these two out there to see if they would adopt them when they were, mm, I think, just a day old. So still really tiny. Um, but yeah, they wouldn't have it. Um, I waited till it was getting dark, um, hoping that would help. And Sally literally ran scared of them, like climbing on the other duck scared of them. So that didn't work so well. And the poor little duckies, they tried to follow her. And then they saw the, uh, um, the second duck that's in the corner and they tried to go over to her and she just like hissed at them and wanted nothing to do with them. So unfortunately nobody wants the poor little baby duckies. So I guess we'll just have two brooder ducks but they will be very attached to each other and possibly very attached to us which really puts a wrinkle in the food plan but i don't know we'll just see how it all unfolds see what happens so that's where we're at two duckies in the brooder one good egg with the pecans a whole bunch of bad ones not doing so good but the silver apple yards are doing really good so I guess we'll just play it by ear and see what happens. Hi. Hi, Duck Duck. Sit. 
They don't really fit under you anymore, do they? Are they getting too big? You're such a good mama. Look who finally decided to leave the nest. Hey, Gretchen. Gretchen. Yay, she finally left. So we just came out to check on the animals. I just like doing that a couple times a day. And I did not even think about this being an issue when Mama wanted to bring her babies over here in the goat yard. This is so sad. This little chickie jumped in this trough and drowned. That poor little thing. That is so, so sad. Ugh. That is awful. Aww. Poor chickie. I'm so sorry. <sighs> now we could take off her leaves and eat her. I think she's a little too small. And those are feathers, not leaves. <laughs> That's so sad. Poor baby. It's not sad. Good thing it wasn't one of the brown ones. The brown well, ones are cuter. <laughs> yes, but these are the kind I wanted. Huh? This is the kind I wanted, though, not the brown ones. Man. So, the mama hen has been taking, wanting to take her babies into the goat pen during the day, which is fine. She doesn't have to worry about the drama of other chickens that way and it's easier in the morning to keep the other chickens away from the chick food that way but I didn't even it didn't even occur to me until just now that that is the water source in the goat pen is that water trough and the other the only other is the goats water bucket inside the barn so either of which could be drowning hazards and it just I did not even think about it. I'm going to bring the other regular gravity waterer in here for them so they don't have to be jumping up there anymore because we don't want any more of that happening. In other, not necessarily tragic news, but also not so great news, uh, you know, it's one of the duck hens is off of her nest today. Um, we went through last night and we pulled out all of the eggs that were not viable. They were pretty obviously rotten, um, all but one on the peak inside and we left that one viable in there. We did, I did go ahead and add some more bedding to her nest because there was just so much rotten, stinky nastiness in there. It was, it was bad. The whole barn stank. So I threw some extra on there and then put the one viable egg back in. And this morning when I came out, the egg was not in the nest, nor was it warm. So I don't know, it might be dead now too. Uh, Sally is in there right now sitting on it, but I guess I'll check again in a couple days and see if it has progressed at all. If not, it's a dud too. Uh, clearly, clearly Mr. Uh, Peek and Drake over here has not been doing his job fertilizing eggs like he should. So that's kind of like strike against pecans for me so yeah She still got the broody walk going on. <laughs> Goofy girl. Well, Sally Duck over there and Nameless Duck have given up on their nest. 
So they're done sitting. And look who took over. Hi, Mama. Did you claim that? Is that a good comfy spot for all your babies? Yeah? Do you guys fit better in there? Not really. You're too big. <laughs> I don't know how she sleeps like this. There's like nowhere for her to land. She had to like sleep standing up. It looks so uncomfortable. <laughs> Hello, babies. Hello. <laughs> You're such a good mama. Ah, that's why they gave up. They broke it. And I'm guessing ate it because all I see is shell. Well, that is the end of the peak and sitting era, I suppose. Well, hi there. Well, I guess I'm not going to put them in the other side yet. Um, obviously, that Drake is not doing his job fertilizing, so it's not like they're going to be sitting on any more eggs and actually hatching them right now. But because the silver apple yards are still in here sitting, that's a lot of stress to add the other ones back in. So I'll wait until those are done hatching and they're comfortable and everything before adding them back together. Speaking of which, what's going on in here? What's you squawking about? Well, hang on. Can I get those chicken eggs out before you go back? You're always, always taking my chicken eggs. Still sharing. They're still sharing. It's really dark under there. Yeah, I think there was. I think Josephine was fixing to go up here, and the, the chickens like to kick them out of their nest so that they can lay eggs in it. Yeah, so she freaks out every time they get close. So. But they're doing good.